Hello friends. So today I have an exciting video that was really fun to kind of go through. I've never participated in the r slash fantasy bingo before and I've been seeing it going around lately and I was like, you know what? I feel like that would just add a layer of fun to my reading. I generally don't like making big TBR lists. I don't like planning too far in advance and knowing what I'm reading, but I do feel like this list leaves you with a lot of flexibility. And even though I sort of made a tentative TBR, I feel like it will be very easy to change things around and fill things in as I go. This is my first time participating so there's a lot of information and a lot of rules. Basically all I've done so far is like go through the prompts and try to best figure out what works for hard mode and with my reading schedule. So I'm probably going to get some things wrong. I apologize in advance if some things are wrong because I don't know if you can use rereads and another thing I had. Oh so this readathon or fantasy bingo chart started April 1st. So I have used some books I read in April um, to answer some props. I haven't repeated any and then I have some options for some. So settle in, sit down, grab a tea, get cozy, and let's go through this list because there are 25 prompts for this bingo card. First row across, one is first in a series, read the first book in a series. And hard mode, the series is more than three books long. So I chose The Way of Kings. I am currently rereading Stormlight Archive. So that is a reread. So I don't know if that counts. If not, I'm sure that I will start. Actually, I know for a fact I'm going to be starting a series that are longer than three books and that are the first in the series. So if any of you guys are familiar with this, you can let me know. But The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson, I read in April. So that's like one card checked off. Two is an alliterative title. Read a book where multiple words in the title begin with the same letter. For example, Legends and Lattes, A Storm of Swords, on and on. Hard mode is the title has three words or more that start with the same letter. So I am going to keep on looking. Tentatively, I have put Heartless Hunter as my answer for this. Who wrote that book? I forget. Kristen Cicerello, I think. That's my answer tentatively. I did read that in April, so that's another one checked off, but that doesn't count for hard mode. None of the books on my shelves have three of the same letter, but I mean, I have 11 more months. Are you a sleepy baby? I have 11 more months to get through, and so I'm pretty confident that I'll stumble across one I want to read with three letters in the title. It's funny because if I look at my TBR shelf right now, I have Empire of Exiles, Assassin's Apprentice, A Shadow in Summer. I have like quite a few options, but like I said, I went with Heartless Hunter, so that one was already done. Three is Under the Surface. Read a book where an important setting is either underground or underwater. Hard mode, at least half of the book takes place underground or underwater. So the first one that I put on for my TBR, thank God for the Reddit suggestions. What is the word I'm looking for? People basically have made a huge list of books that they've read, whether they qualify for hard mode and things like that, because some of these things are really hard to know in advance if you've not read the book already. So the first one that I chose is Fathom Folk, only because that's one that's been on my radar for a while, but I am slightly hesitant because I haven't seen the greatest reviews for it. So I have a couple of other options. Number two being The Tombs of Atuan by Ursula K. Le Guin. And I believe that is in her, oh my gosh, what is the series of her books called that I've read a couple out of. It's not going to come to me. You guys know what I'm talking about though. So that's part of that series. I could check that one out. It does work for hard mode. And then the one I know for sure I'll be reading is The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. This doesn't work for hard mode. From my remembering, I don't think half of the book is underground. I mean, there's like a decent portion of it for sure, but I don't know that that would work for hard mode. And once again, that's a reread. So I'll for sure can fall back on The Starless Sea, but I would like to either read The Tombs of Atuan or Fathom Folk. Number four is criminals. Read a book in which the main character is a criminal. This could be thief, assassin, someone who commits mail fraud, etc. And hard mode is features a heist. So I'm pretty sure we've all read a lot already of books that could qualify here. One that came up in the suggestions list on Reddit was To Like the Lightning by Ada someone or other. So Angela recommended that I read this book and it is kind of tentatively on my plans to read for this year. I think I'm going to take her advice out and like download a free sample to try it out before actually committing to it. So I don't, I don't know. I didn't know um, that this involved criminals, assassins or heists, but they did say this worked for hard mode. Another one that was suggested is Assassin's Apprentice. I'm going to get to that. So that's an option. 
And then another one that they said works for hard mode is The Lies of Loch Lomora by Scott Lynch. So I've already read that book, but it's on a tentative plan for the future of a new section of books I wanna give another shot to. So I have those three options. I'm sure more will come along, but I'll definitely have quite a few to choose from, which is nice, makes it a little less stressful. We have dreams. Read a book where characters experience dreams, magical or otherwise. In hard mode, the dream is not mystical or unusual, just a normal dream or nightmare. So I've read a ton of books about dreams. I almost made a video about dream worlds because I, I really like that. But what I've gone with is Empire of Silence. That's another reread and I read it in April. This book, the main character Hadrian has a lot of dreams about just stuff that has happened to him in the past. And so I'm trying to remember if any of his dreams mean anything, but I know for certain he has dreams about things that he's experienced that are not like supernatural. It's just him waking up from a bad dream. So that works for hard mode if you ask me. On to the second row across. We have entitled animals. Read a book that has an animal in the title. The animal doesn't have to appear in the story, but for hard mode, the animal in the title is a fantasy or sci-fi creature. So the one I'm going to go with is The Last Dragon of the East. I'm pretty sure this will qualify for hard mode. This is not released yet, but it is one of my anticipated releases of the year. It has a gorgeous cover and just something I'm looking forward to reading. So works out. I think that like when I made this list, I tried to look at either what I owned or books that were already on my radar because I'm not really interested in just adding a lot of random books to my TBR in order to fit this bingo card. It's more like this bingo card and I'll kind of like bend and twist things to fit what I already own or what I'm already planning to read because I don't find it fun to read books for the sake of just reading them. It has to be something I'm already wanting to read. So The Last Dragon of the East. Seven is Bards. Read a book in which the primary protagonist is a bard, musician, poet, or storyteller. Hard mode, the character is explicitly called a bard. This is perfect because in April I read The Last Herald Mage by Mercedes Lackey, which there are multiple characters that could be considered main characters that are labeled as bards and musicians and they go to school for such and it's a lovely book. Had an excellent time reading this, so if you needed a suggestion, I really do recommend that trilogy by Mercedes Lackey. Eight is Prologues and Epilogues. Read a book that has either a prologue or an epilogue. Hard mode, the, the book must have both. It made me really realize that not as many books as I thought had a prologue and an epilogue, but the one I found is the one I'm reading right now and that's The Final Strife. And so perfect that I can kind of check this one off in a couple days because I'll be done with it soon. Uh, I'm loving this book by the way and it does have a prologue and an epilogue. Nine is a self-publisher indie publisher. If a formerly self-published novel has been picked up by a publisher, it only counts if you read it while it was still only self-published. So I don't have any like that that I've read, you know, from April till now. Hard Mode is a self-published, has fewer than 100 ratings. That is really hard. Or an indie publisher that has done an AMA with our fantasy. And so the one I'm going to go with with this is just a self-published novel that keeps getting recommended to me lately, and that is Of Blood and Fire. And so everyone has been talking to me about this in my comments, especially on my last video that I made, just talking about how this is a really good quality fantasy series, reminds them of like epic fantasy, and it is a self-published series that is sort of on my radar already that I want to get to, because to be honest, I don't really read self-published novels that much. I've read more more self-published romanticy and I'm I'm not really interested in that anymore and so I'm willing to give this one a try. And then 10 is romanticy, speaking of, read a book that features romance as the main plot. This must be speculative in nature but does not have to be fantasy. Hard mode, the main character is LGBTQIA+. And I'm going with August Kitko and the Mechas from Space because I did read this in did I read this in April or May? I think I read it in April. And the reason I wanted to go with this one is because I don't know how much romantic I'm going to be reading in the upcoming months, but also this does feature an LGBTQIA um, main character pairing partnership. And it's a fun time. It features these giant space mechas. So the speculative elements in it are sci-fi and not fantasy, but I definitely wish that it was more sci-fi rather than romanticy. I'm gonna go ahead and say that the main focus of this book is the romantic plot and the relationship between the two main characters. So that's why I am counting it. I don't care if you really think it counts, I think it counts. I'm talking as fast as I can and I'm only through the 
the second row. Third row, Dark Academia, read a book that fits the Dark Academia aesthetic. This includes school and university, secret societies, and dark secrets. Doesn't have to be fantasy, but must be speculative. Hard mode, the school itself is entirely mundane. So I had to refer to their recommendations for this because I just wasn't sure. So I'm just completely going on um, trusting what they said. Then the two that I chose to pick from were kind of already on my radar. So the first one being an education in malice. And apparently that one does work for hard mode but this is by st gibson i've read from them in the past and enjoyed their work the second one is probably the one that i'm more likely to choose which is blood over bright haven and this author you guys know that i have loved in the past yeah i'm a wong i was trying so hard to remember well i dropped my laptop into my tripod which dropped my phone and ruined everything but that's okay anyways so i'll probably go with blood over bright haven but we'll see when it gets to that point 12 is a multi POV read a book with at least three points of view hard mode at least five points of view characters. I'm choosing Rhythm of War by Brandon Sanderson. I do plan to get to this at some point this year and I know for sure it's going to have at least five POVs because between the interludes and then our main cast of characters like there's no way there's going to be less than five POVs so that was perfect. 13, a book published in 2024 for the first time. It can be a first translation into your language of choice. Hard mode, it's the author's first published novel. I'm going with The Silver Blood Promise because that's a book that I want to read. Anyways, it is his debut novel from what I've read online and it's one that's already on my TBR. So I'm excited for that book. 14 is a character with a disability. Read a book in which an important character has a physical or mental disability. Hard mode is a main character has a physical men or mental disability. I am going with their recommendations again because it's really hard to know that before you read a book and so I've chosen Iron Widow because this is on my radar anyways it's an Asian inspired fantasy and they wrote that the character has a foot binding that results in like loss of mobility and issues and so a physical disability um, so that's what I'm looking forward to that works for hard mode 15 is published in the 1990s and hard mode is the author or one of the authors has also published something in the last five years. So I'm going with The Curse of the Miswraith by Janie Wirtz. And the reason this could be hard mode is because I believe she's publishing a new book in her ongoing, it's like the Wars of Something series. I can't remember the name of it, but she has a book that's supposed to come out in 2024. So as long as that book is released this year, then it will count for hard mode. If not, it won't count for hard mode, but that's my answer that I'm going with for now. And I think that Assassin's Apprentice was released in the 90s, right? So like worst comes to worst, I could use that. 16 is hard. Orcs, trolls, and goblins. Oh my. Read a book featuring those creatures. Hard mode is that creature is a main character. And this is something that like is harder for me because I'm not too interested in a lot of books, honestly, that feature those characters. Um, so the two that I have to choose from, we'll see if I get this or not, is Legends and Lattes and The Goblin Emperor. I don't know. I think I read that both of those qualify for hard mode. I'll have to do further research into, you know, whatever I pick, whichever one. I've tried Legends and Lattes before and gave up on it, but I did read a cozy fantasy that I liked recently. So maybe it'll work better second time around. 17 is a space opera. Read a sci-fi book that features a large cast of characters and has a focus on social dynamics, which may be political or personal in nature, set primarily in space or on spaceships. Written by an author of marginalized gender identity, women, trans people, non-binary people. I went with Gideon the Ninth, which would work for hard mode. But now I'm like, is the majority of it set in space? It's, it's like on a planet but it's not like our planet because there's multiple places they travel to so now i'm gonna have to look more into that because i feel like i jumped the gun and didn't read the full mode of that i'm not too worried i'm definitely gonna read more sci-fi this year and honestly the third book in that megan o'keefe series is coming out i could just as easily use that so maybe i'll type that in my notes right now just as a little reminder just in case Gideon the Ninth doesn't work Gideon the Ninth would also be a reread I've already read it and loved it but I want to reread the series 18 is author of color read a book by an author of color in hard mode it must be a debut novel published in the last five years so of Jade and Dragons is my choice for this the author is she says Singaporean Chinese author and this is her debut YA novel um, that was already on my radar and sounds really good and interesting so 19 survival read a book in which the primary goal of the characters and story focuses on survival surviving an apocalypse surviving a war a high school etc hard mode is no super viruses and or pandemics i'm going with the three-body problem 
And you can't tell me I'm wrong. I've read The Dark Forest now as well. So I guess I could use The Dark Forest. I read The Three-Body Problem in April and The Dark Forest in May. So either would count for this bingo duration. Their entire concept, this whole book, is just figuring out how to make humanity survive. Um, period. So that works. 20 is judge a book by its cover, choose because you like its cover, hard mode, pick the book based only on the information available on the cover, no reading the blurb. I'm going with Mistress of Lies for this one. I must have read the blurb at some point in time to add it to this list of books that I was choosing from, but I have no idea. I could not tell you one thing that this book is about other than I think the cover is really beautiful. So that's why I'm choosing this one. And finally, the fifth row across, we have 21 set in a small town. The primary setting is a small town. Hard mode, the small town can be real or fictional, but the broader setting must be our real world and not a secondary world. So this doesn't work for hard mode, but I'm choosing The Warden because I read that in, I think May. Yeah, I must have read that in May. And it's definitely set in this like very secluded, very small town where you have like these really close interpersonal relationships and it's a really cozy fantasy. So that works really well, but it's not our real world. It's definitely a different world. So if I stumble upon something else that works for it, maybe I'll try to go for hard mode instead, but that's my plan as of now. 22 is five SFF short stories and hard mode is to read an entire speculative anthology or collection. So this works for hard mode and that is Tales of the Celestial Kingdom. And this is nine short stories. And um, so if I read the entire book, it would work for hard mode. And this is part of the Daughter of the Moon Goddess book series that I really enjoyed and short stories in that same world. So I've been wanting to read this anyways and that's a perfect excuse. 23 was one that I also thought was a little bit harder. It says Eldritch creatures. Read a book featuring a being that is uncanny, unearthly, and weird. This can be a god or monster from another plane or realm and is usually beyond mortal understanding. And then it says hard mode is it's not related to Cthulhu mythos. So I went, I have no idea if this properly works or not, but it would work for hard mode if it does. And it's been on my list. So that is the Wren in the Holly Library. And the reason that I chose this is one, it was very hard to find something I was interested in that I had to Google what an eldritch creature was, to be honest. But this says, the little blurb says, some things aren't supposed to exist outside of our imagination. 13 years ago, monsters emerged from the shadows and plunged Kierce's world into a cataclysmic war of near total destruction. The New York City she knew so well collapsed practically overnight. In the wake of that carnage, the monster treaty was created, a truce of sorts. So, I mean, it sounds like if we read that synop or read the prompt again, it sounds like these monsters are coming from like another realm to come to New York City. So that's why I think it might work. That's that's really like my only option right now. I really don't know what to go with. 24 reference materials. Read a book features additional materials such as maps, footnotes, glossary, translation guide, dramatis personae, and then hard mode is the book contains at least two types of additional materials. So browsing on my TBR shelf, I found Empire of Exiles. That one includes maps and includes, I think, like some kind of glossary or dramatis personae at the beginning. So that will work perfectly. And then last was, I'm not really sure, like it says book club or read along book. Any past or active our fantasy book clubs count. And then there was a link that said like view the Goodreads list of books here. So I just chose a book from there and it is um, someone you can build a nest in because this was one that I was definitely interested in before finding out about this bingo board. And I just think that it sounds really interesting and cute. So that's one that I plan to get to anyways. So hopefully it will work from this because I chose it from their list of books on Goodreads that I think are either active or past. Buddy reads, I'm not totally sure. So I gotta stop talking now. Let me know if you guys are gonna participate in the Art Fantasy Bingo competition. What do we call it? Like, what is this called? I don't even know what this is called. But either way, I think it sounds fun and exciting. Let me know if you have any better suggestions for the prompts um, of books that I'm going to read. And please tell me what books you plan to read if you're going to participate. And maybe I can convince you to participate just on your own because I think that it sounds like fun to do together. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. I've been